The tail of the tape, 26 versus 30, not a big difference. Height advantage, that doesn't mean if it's reach as big as 6-2 for Mirai, Myrie, and 5-9 for Mladenov. That tail of the tape is brought to you by Praetorian Performance. Become all you can. As we set it inside the cage for the official introductions and Tim Hughes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the middleweight ranks of the World Series of Fighting. And introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the blue corner. He is a submission artist with good stand-up boxing skills. His professional record, perfect. Five wins, no losses, four of those wins coming by way of submission at six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at an even 185 pounds. Training at Jocko Hybrid Training, and here tonight from Boca Raton, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, it's Kendrick Big Problem Mary. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a wrestler, also has good submission skills. His record. Perfect. Nine wins, no losses. At five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds. Training at Sofia Wrestling Center. He's here tonight all the way from Sofia, Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, Craftsman, the wrestler, man and all. And the referee for this contest is Kim Winslow. What is that always she does with the nose? No idea. Okay. So here we go in the middleweight division. Mladenov and Myrie. This one's scheduled for three. Uh, it looks like we have a south pour again. Yep. I saw it already when they were standing in the corners. Well, you can't call it a corner, really. <laughs> because there's no corner. One thing you can see right off the bat, Kate's side, is the reach differential between Oof. Myrie and Mladenov. Yeah. Myrie is uh, the advantage here. He's looking down, he's bobbing down. It's either he sets up a left high kick or he sets up a takedown. Many do that, make him think it's a takedown, and then he pops up with that left high kick. Now, do you like how Myrie's crouching over? You know, he's got, he's 6'2", and Mladenov checks in at 5'9". He's giving away five inches easily. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that he needs to do that because since Mladenov is uh, shorter, so to say, it's easier for him to take him down than the other way around. He, he doesn't have to go as low as that Myrie needs to. You see, yeah, it was a kick, though, so, but he wanted to do a flying knee, I think. But he acted like he was going for a takedown, and then it was going to be a strike with that left leg. Now, nah, who's got the better wrestler? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be it's the, the wrestler or the big problem. And a single. Can he secure it? Pull. Well, the big question is, Mladenov enough strong enough to pick up the big problem and, and throw him down? Yeah, plus, you know, of course, the big problem knows what to do. He's a great wrestler himself. Oh, look at that. An outside leg trip there. And not enough. You know, it's the simplicity that always works. But look at the reach. He posts his arm. It's almost like he posts yeah. his leg down. <laughs> and there he goes back up. Very nice. I would turn into him, though. There we go. Put a whizzer around it, and his left arm, when it goes over the top, underneath, they call that a whizzer for the people who go, like, what is that? Under three minutes to go here, round number one. This one's scheduled for three in the middleweight division of the World Series of Fighting. I think when no nothing happens within the next 10 seconds, uh, Kate Winslow, the referee, might step in here and say, okay, let's restart this fight. No one really improving their advantage. No, nobody. You know, he stands too close. Myrie's too close for really for his knees. Now he, he moved his hips away, so I thought maybe he was going to attack with some more knee strikes. But if you're too close, you don't give your knees room. Your legs need room and space to develop power. Any strike. I always say, oh, that, there we have that high kick, you see? That's the bobbing with the high kick. The longer a strike travels, the more power it has. That's the golden rule you hear me saying at training all the time. Myrie needs to keep him on the outside. He needs to bop and come up with that left high kick that he did. 
Would you agree with the statement that Mladenov may be a more polished fighter, but Myri certainly has the tools to be a better fighter? Yeah, you know, it, it's almost like Myri is a little bit like more John Jones, more all over the place. Right. You know, you don't really know what he's going to do because he moves so much, which is a great thing. Mladenov, a very simple guy, nice right strike, straight. But you see that Myri just stay, stays just outside that reach. Nice front kick and the left straight. I like that combination. Left, left. Not many people do that. My first knockout in Japan was actually that. Right high kick, right straight. Combination. You That's always it. preach the combination. It's all about that. One is easy to defend. When you start throwing more than one strike, much harder to defend. And when you start mixing up heights in those strikes, even worse. Well, a fight that we thought may go to the ground. Both these guys stress that they are Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners, but this looks more like a boxing match now as the wrestlers coming forward with the combination. As I said in the opening, see? Two ground guys, most of the time, they're going to duke it out on the feet. Oh, nice, nice combination here. Kendrick Myrie with a flurry here as we go under 50 seconds oh, to go in a big knee. knee. Beautifully. Latinov may be in recovery mode right now. Yeah, Myri needs to get out here. He needs space. He needs to keep striking because he was doing very well. Oh. Getting him away from the cage would certainly help Mladenov here. Mm -hmm. As Myri has shown time and time again, he's got the balance. He's got the stance skills to just stay right here. And he's got to hop his butt out and out to the left. And he's got to get out of this position. Final 10 seconds here in round number one in the middleweight battle between Krasimir Mladenov and Kendrick Myrie. We will go to a second round. Boom. See her hair. in a row. I was yep. going over this last Tuesday with my students. It's a great combination. Round number two here in the middleweight division. Krasimir Mladenov in the white trunks. Kendrick Myri in the black trunks. Myri knows now that when he throws combination, he has more success. So I think that his corner Told him, start throwing more combination. I'm going to put you on the spot once again, Boz. It's my favorite thing to do when I come to Vegas. Who'd you get that first round to? Yeah, I, I have to give it to Myri. The striking looked better. Um, and Ladinov really needs to close the distance more. He needs to fight inside. He can't, right now, he can't find that timing. It's just a little short of every punch, you see? Well, you see Myri, he certainly has some athletic ability there. Not the most polished striker we've seen come through the World Series of fighting, but that reach is just so hard for Mladenov to get through to get to the body. That's the thing, you know? When you when you know you fight a guy with a long reach, you have to double up on your stamina because you have to non-stop press the action. There's no way you can stay on the outside because you're going to lose that. And especially with those long legs, those crazy knees that he's throwing, if that goes to the head, yep. that's it. That's the end of the fight. Not everybody's like a Mark Hunt early in his career, especially. Combination coming there from Mladenov. Yeah, but he needs to stay on it. You know, because now he's back to square one. Myrie's lowering himself again. Most of that means he's going to throw left straight. Because he wants to crouch down a little bit so he can push harder off on that back leg. This is, of course, where all the power comes from in your straight punches. A lot of people don't know when they stand on one leg. You can't generate any power. Straight punching power comes from your back, back leg. Both, equally, right and left. Boom. There's a 
lot of action, but nothing really hits. That was a nice double punch there from lining up. Telling him, hey, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. Most time that's not a good thing. Yeah. You shouldn't invite him. Kendrick Myrie supremely confident here, feeling that he possibly won that first round and doing a job here, but Mladenov has shown that he can get to the inside. Yep. You see, he's found the range now. Yep. He knows what to do. He steps in deeper, and Boy. he's actually connecting. And when he goes lateral movement side to side, Myrie just does not seem to have a defensive answer for him. He should throw a left knee now, full blood. There you go, to the body, because that's where the liver is located. Myrie stalking Mladenov. Big left gets nothing, and Mladenov comes right back. No, it's a little sloppy. It's too slow. He's, he's pushing instead of punching right now. Well, Kendrick Myrie may be in charge of this fight right now, but I'll tell you, you get someone with a matching reach advantage, you see how his hands are dropped down low. Someone that's a striker is going to light him up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, they're going to capitalize on this for sure. Under two minutes to go here, round two of this one, scheduled for three. And those body shots that he's throwing, he was throwing a few seconds ago, they're not as effective because of his reach. You know, he's got two long arms, so he's so there's too the close takedown. to his opponent. Now on close range, this is much better for not enough because his, his striking is just way more explosive. Looking for a triangle already. Look at this, look at this, he might have him. If he can lock that up, his right foot behind his left knee. But not enough knows he's pushing already to the other side. There could be trouble from Mladenov. So you've got the wrestler, Mladenov, in the white trunks, and Kendrick, big problem, Myrie, right now, in the black trunks. And this is seems to be a stalemate. Kim Winslow may just stand them up. I don't know why big problem has that uh, right overhand there, because otherwise he can go for right. a triangle check. It's not doing anything. I mean, he's passed, he passed that arm, right? I mean, can you tell from here? Where's the arm? No, 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 no. Let me, did he pass that arm? I can't tell from him. His right arm of no, 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 my no. race is up and over the top. Yep, they're both in. Okay. I have to look at the cage here. Time. Oh, my eyes are nice The screen right here for the people at home because that's what you guys are watching. So the mouthpiece comes out. Myrie says, I'll just put it back in. No need to clean it off. Nah, you know, I mean, we're already swapping sweat. <laughs> Doesn't really matter anymore. Final 25 seconds of round number two. Action picking up now, and Mladenov feeling that if he gets this thing back to the ground, he may have some success. Myrie escapes that one, and now he's on the prowl. Should stand his ground now. Oh, nice job here. This is not good at the end of the round. Little sloppy at the end of round number two as Kendrick Myrie was literally chasing after Mladenov and then technically just, just lost his footing. That's it. And gave Mladenov the takedown. I was waiting for Mladenov to, to post his right foot on the back and then just pop out the big right hand. So it's the third and final round between Mladenov and Myrie. And I think it's the same here. You know, both won the round, I would say. Yep. I think whoever's going to win this round is going to take home the victory. Myrie's doing a lot of stalking of Mladenov, but stalking doesn't give you points. That's it. You know? He's got to initiate and engage with him. Mladenov should throw the big right hand because he's been successful with there we go again. See? Amanesha gets in two and gets out. Yep. The big problem is giving it to him. He's coming in too fast. Good hand positioning. Keeping those hands low. Mladenov looking for a spot. 
It's all about distance, man. Everything. Keep your opponent just outside your reach. Big combination this. then. Again, Myrie yeah. taking two shots to the head. Two steps to left. Go get it. Well, I don't know if he wants to continue. He should start throwing body shots now. It's right straight to the body, left hook to the head. The other way around. Left hook to the head, right body shot. Because late in the fight, people are getting tired, start breathing more yep. heavy, you know, and if you're near your opponent at the moment, he's breathing in, that's the golden spot. Quick reminder, Krasmir Mladenov from Bulgaria, a perfect 9-0 with four submissions. Kendrick Myrie comes in at 5-0. So someone's going to go away with their first professional loss here. And right now, Mladenov seems to have a little momentum, but now Myrie fires up. He's missing, though. Not enough is connecting with the shot, but Myrie is constantly attacking. And that's aggression. We talked about it in the beginning. That gives you also some points. He's going to go for that single. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, because every time when I say that, it will happen, of course. But most unlikely to happen right now. Marie should start throwing knees there. Nice. Through the body. Nice. Not a big right hand here. And not enough. Boy, the hands of Marie just keep dropping. He's trying to keep him up. Again, trying to track down Mladenov, but again, no engaging from the big problem. Yeah, walking backwards like Mladenov was doing is very dangerous. You know, if Myrie is smart, at the moment he puts his left foot next to his right foot, that's the moment you want to hit him. <laughs> because there's nothing he can do. So time is walking. He's not throwing punches. Not enough, he has to move backwards, but he has to keep that right leg backwards all the time. So it's ready for a straight punch. Two minutes to go. Punch. Big right coming yeah. from Latinov. He's thrown the shots that are connecting this round. Myrie is constantly attacking. They have to count, of course, the ones that are connecting. And if that's the case, Latinov might take this fight. 90 seconds to go in this one, and another flurry coming from Latinov. Yep. Where's the answer from Kendrick Myrie? He needs to cut him off. He needs to step to the right. Lanov's constantly moving to the left, so simply step to the right there. You know, cut him off, you see? He lets him go the whole time. He's just following him. Cut him off. Yeah. There's got to be a sense of urgency from that blue corner. Kendrick Myrie tries to shoot. Yeah, from this distance now, is Mladenov. If he starts throwing short, short shots like this, or knees to the body, they will have more effect than Myrie's knees. Since they can travel longer. Those shots are really good, especially if you soften that leg already up at a few low kicks. Another, I used to do this in Thai boxing, believe it or not. With my glove, I would hit the thigh. People thought I was crazy. But hey, it's legal. Might as well go for it. Every shot counts. Final 30 seconds of this one. And it's Mladenov who's really pushing the pace here on Kendrick Myrie. That's what the mouse said, right? Every little bit helps when he peed into the ocean. <laughs> I don't know why I come up with that. It's a Dutch saying. Yeah, it's going to be hard to score this one. Final 10 seconds here. Krasmir Mladenov, has he done enough here in the third and final round? Will he get the win? We'll have the final results. It'll be Mladenov or Myrie. A little too late. He started there, Myrie, in the round number three. Every time a song comes on, I think. <laughs> so three rounds was not enough. It'll go to the judges, Kendrick Myrie and Mladenov, Boz. And this one was a was a grinded out, but it looked like Mladenov really got some steam going in the third and final round. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I think one round was each going in one and two, and the last round, Mladenov took that round. 
and he might walk away with the decision here. So who will it be, Kendrick Myrie or Krasimir Mladenov? We'll find out as we send it inside the cage for the official decision and Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one goes the distance, all three rounds, and we turn it to the judge's scorecard. Judge Jarman scores the bout 29-28. Judge Smith and Judge Week score the bout 30-27. It is a unanimous decision for your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Krasimir Vladnow. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.